there's plenty of fish in the sea, but sometimes you don't even realize the crazy catch you're going to get until it's already in your hands. I don't know what this is, but Jay says it's a f big sea turtle. Oh, Look, it's a baby wheel. It's a baby f wheel, man. Holy sh! We are witnessing a baby f wheel right here, dude. One unexpected living fossil. This girl has lived in this area in China for decades, but the water has always stayed at a certain level. With record-breaking rainfall in the area, they got a lot of little ponds popping up everywhere, but with it came a living fossil no one had seen here before. The tadpole shrimp, or triops, is a fascinating creature often called a living fossil because it has remained virtually unchanged for over 200 million years. They once lived alongside dinosaurs and have managed to survive through countless changes on Earth. These little beings have a very distinctive look with a shield-like carapace that covers most of their body. They have three eyes, two compound eyes and one simple eye, which helps them detect light. Their name, Triops, actually comes from this feature, meaning three eyes in Greek. These creatures can grow up to a few inches in length, with a body that tapers into a segmented abdomen lined with numerous small legs. This is one of the weirdest aquatic creatures you'll ever see. Typically found in temporary freshwater habitats like ponds, triops have a unique survival strategy. Their eggs can remain dormant in the soil for years, waiting for the right conditions to hatch. When heavy rains hit an area, the eggs hatch and take over, like they'd been there forever. Two, record-breaking white sturgeon. Oh, there we go. There we go, look at that fish. Oh, my man. In the wild waters of British Columbia, Canada, you can catch just about anything, but these guys weren't even prepared for what might just be the catch of a lifetime. They caught a white sturgeon. White sturgeon are the largest freshwater fish in North America, with some reaching lengths of over 20 feet and weighing more than 1,500 pounds. <laughs> yeah! This kid's gonna, gonna be like 300 pounds. Let's go, Canada! They have a long torpedo-shaped body covered in bony plates called scutes instead of scales giving them a prehistoric appearance. They're usually gray to olive green on the back with a lighter belly. This is no average fish, and you can feel that when you touch this beast. This particular one is well over six feet tall, 400 pounds, and ended up being one of the most shocking finds these guys got that year. Three, the unsuspecting Arapaima. The arapaima is a massive, extremely old fish, often growing over 10 feet in length and weighing up to 485 pounds. Some reports suggest even larger specimens exist. Its body is long and covered in thick, armor-like scales that are greenish-gray with a reddish tint, particularly near the tail. Some say that's the reason they've lived for so long, because almost nothing can take them down. This one is around 150 pounds and takes two grown men a lot of effort to hold this crazy fish up. One of the features that really sets the arapaima apart from the rest is its ability to breathe air, not H2O air like other fish. This one quite literally breathes air. They have a specialized swim bladder that functions like a lung, allowing them to gulp air at the surface. This means they need to surface for air every 15 to 20 minutes, though they can stay submerged for longer if necessary. Because of that unique feature, they also don't live the way an average fish would. The arapaima is a dangerous predator, feeding on fish, crustaceans, and even birds that fly too close to the water's surface. Four, Mola Mola. Bro, this thing are beautiful. The ocean sunfish, or Mola Mola, might just be one of the strangest prehistoric creatures in the sea. With its flat, bumpy, and wrinkled body, it's not the prettiest fish in the sea, but that doesn't mean it's not interesting. 
This is a kind of flounder shark hybrid, and the round shape really sets it apart. These fish are massive, measuring up to 8.2 feet from the tip of the top fin to the bottom fin and about 5.9 feet across. The largest can reach a staggering 14 feet fin to fin and 10.8 feet across, weighing anywhere from 545 to 2,205 pounds, with the heaviest recorded at 5,100 pounds, they can rival the weight of an SUV. Ocean sunfish have quite a mysterious reproductive life. I don't know what this is, but Jay says it's a big sea turtle. Oh, it's Look, a baby wheel. It's a baby wheel, man. Holy sh! We are witnessing a baby wheel right here, dude. They are known to release an unbelievable number of eggs with estimates suggesting that a single female can produce up to 300 million eggs at once. These eggs hatch into larvae that drift in the open ocean before settling into deeper waters as juveniles. And well, no one really knows what they do from that point to when they become adults. But when they do, they're back at it again, releasing more eggs and beginning the cycle all over again. 5. Hidden. Bichia. Oh my god! What, African? Brandon, come here. Brandon, come here. Oh, what the heck is that? Snake <gasps> no! Bichias aren't easily found. Even though their lineage goes on quite literally forever, they're very hard to catch. Yet this guy managed to get one. Their bodies are covered in ganoid scales, which are similar to those found in other ancient fish. Their body shape is somewhat eel-like, but with a more rigid structure. Bichirs have multiple dorsal finlets that look like a line of fins running along their back. That's why they can swim so fast. They've also got lungs and gills, so even if they're outside of the water for a while, they'll be just fine. With how slippery they are, that doesn't even need to be a problem, because they can wiggle their way out of just about every situation. What makes them even better is the fact that they can also do just fine in aquariums, so chances are they're not going anywhere anytime soon. 6. Prehistoric Dinosaur Fish in the Shadows Monster fishing can be full of surprises. You never quite know what you're going to end up catching. These people were monster fishing in the dark when their reels started going crazy. They could barely hold on to it. While they struggled to keep on the reel, they did manage to catch it on camera. 7. Bowfish out of the water. The bowfin belongs to a group of fish called Amirformers, which dates back to the Cretaceous period, over 100 million years ago, and they're still thriving today. Like other prehistoric fish, these can also breathe air and water, while also being just fine in low oxygen environments. They end up going deep into the waters and just hanging out whenever they want and come out when it's time to eat. 8. Old Powerful Beast Just because a fish is a living fossil doesn't mean they're slow. A lot of these guys are insanely powerful. That's why most of them have lived this long without having to evolve at all. This is definitely one of those. It took this man a lot of effort to even get it out of shallow waters. But when he did... Crazy! Could I believe that? Even he couldn't believe what he was looking at. 9. Not a catfish. This angler was just out for some catfish, but that's not what he ended up catching on his hook. He caught the long-nosed gar, one of the scariest prehistoric fish of all time. Their lineage dates back over 150 million years to the Mesozoic era. It's got a very elongated torpedo-shaped body and its long pointed snout, which can be up to half the length of its body. So if this thing digs its teeth into you, you're not getting out of there. It has a series of large diamond-shaped scales that give it a somewhat armored appearance. It's typically a mix of olive, brown or gray with darker spots which helps it blend into its surroundings. 
so you never see it coming. These can be up to six feet in length, and this one seems to be very close to that. So that's about three feet of teeth alone. This is not a fish anyone should ever mess with. 10. Ghost fish. Ghost fish are barely ever close to the surface of the water because they're so good at camo that they don't actually need to be up near the surface. Their bodies are very translucent, so they're virtually invisible in the water. With their eyes, they can absorb the little light there is at the bottom of the ocean to see. The little tab on their forehead lights up in the bottom of the ocean, so their prey thinks that's food, comes close to them, and that's when they attack, swallowing them whole. To catch one of these in the wild is extremely rare, and this man ended up being one of the lucky ones to do it. 11. Elusive Nautilus. The aquatic world is full of strange beings. One of them is the Nautilus. This crazy living fossil has a very specific coiled spiral shell, which is divided into gas-filled chambers. This shell is what gives it buoyancy and allows the Nautilus to float and navigate through the water. The patterns on the body help it disguise into the ocean floor, so it doesn't have to go to prey. Prey comes to it. Despite the shell looking hard, it's not. It's actually very soft. It also has numerous tentacles that extend from the central body, which are used for mobility and capturing prey. It might just be the most innocent-looking beast there is. 12. Quilacanth this fish is so prehistoric that everyone thought it had gone extinct until recently. Kulacanths. These are ancient fish that look quite unusual. Similar to the other fish species that have survived for millions of years, they too have thick, armor-like scales and large, rounded fins on their sides and underbelly, which are similar to the early limbs of land animals. While those evolved, these ones never did, so they still look the same as they did all those decades ago. Their tail fin is shaped like a crescent. These fish have a body shape that mixes features of both fish and early amphibians, and they usually have a dark blue or grey colour with lighter spots. In the deep sea, kilicants move slowly and have a special way of swimming that looks like walking. This unique movement probably comes from their ancient ancestors, who might have used similar movements in shallower waters. Coelacanths also have a special organ called the lateral line system that helps them sense their surroundings in the dark, low oxygen waters where they live. It might seem like they're sleeping and don't notice you, but they most certainly do, and they'll come get anyone looking to cause them harm. 13. Massive Sturgeon Sturgeons are incredibly strong and can fight for hours before they actually stop for a break. This one fought this fisherman for two hours before it seemed to get tired. This prehistoric fish has a long torpedo-shaped body covered with tough, bony plates called scutes, which protect them. What everyone notices about them, though, is their elongated snout which has barbels that look a lot like whiskers. They help them detect food on the river or lake floor, so they essentially function similar to regular whiskers. The one this man caught was seven feet long and possibly 250 pounds. Even though it would have made a great trophy, he got the hook out and made sure to safely release it back into the wild. This fossil didn't live this long to be captured by humans, while that makes him a great angler, there are others like him too. 14. The Prodigy This kid is the definition of stardom young. He's already so confident about his fishing skills that he doesn't let anyone get in his way. He's got his little outfit on, the crocs are in sport mode, and he's dancing away while he waits for his catch. He doesn't have to wait too long though, because the second he puts the bait in the water, a fish practically leapt to be caught by him. Even fish 
can't resist this little guy's charm. 15. A machine. This kid was born to fish. Over the course of his fishing career, which is only really getting started, he's caught over 1,000 pounds of fish. But that spans across all of the fish he's ever caught. He's pure skill, because when he got on this boat, he not only caught a bunch of regular fish, but also ended up catching a massive shark. What's insane is that he even reeled it in all on his own. This takes the impressiveness to a whole other level because catching one of these isn't exactly a walk in the park. Sharks are extremely strong, so even if they let you reel them in, they can hop right back into the water with one yank and take you along with them. This kid not only managed to bring it in, but it also stuck around long enough to get a picture with him too. It doesn't get crazier than this. 16. The Goliath Tigerfish A lot of people have heard about how scary the piranha is. They're known for their aggressive feeding behavior, especially when in groups. They are opportunistic feeders and can be highly efficient predators, feeding on fish, insects, and occasionally even small mammals or birds that fall into the water. While they prefer to stay away from humans, if they feel threatened, they can take a chunk out of a person too. The Goliath tigerfish could eat 50 of them for breakfast. That's why it took an experienced angler to get one of these. This fierce predator, measuring 5 feet long and weighing over 45 kilo, is known for its razor-sharp teeth, which are similar in size to those of a great white shark. The fish, with its 32 teeth, is capable of attacking both humans and crocodiles, and if it does, there's no escaping it. He had to handle the fish with extreme caution, holding it at arm's length to avoid being bitten. A net had to be available at all times to make sure everyone walked away from the situation safely, even the fish itself. 17. Giant Tiger Trout Tiger trout are usually found in freshwater environments like streams, rivers, and lakes. So it's not them being found that's crazy here, it's the fact that they're almost never very big. These guys are known for their incredibly aggressive feeding behavior. They are predatory fish, feeding on smaller fish, insects, and aquatic invertebrates. But this man was out fishing, and he just happened to stumble upon one of these, just laying there by the riverbank. When he went closer, he realized that it was not an ordinary tiger trout, but one that might just break his state record. Even though it's not great to pick up a dead fish, he had to, to estimate how big it was. He thinks it's about 14 pounds, which is only 5 pounds short of the official record. It's insane luck to find such a massive fish that scares everyone in the wild, laying there for the taking. 18. Giant Squid Squids aren't most people's first choice when it comes to fishing, but they are pretty popular. This guy went all the way to Jordan to experience what it's like to catch some of the biggest squids ever. And well, he went right into the drama of it all. While a squid took the bait, it was one dramatic reel in. The squid was being attacked by others who were trying to eat it. They actually managed to get quite a lot of chunks out of it too, before the beast finally made its way out of the water. What's even crazier is that the men even managed to capture one of the attackers here, and all the others were also ready for the taking. This whole fishing expedition was basically smack dab in the middle of the mother load. 19. Yellowfish Tuna Yellowfin tuna are known for their speed and agility which help them catch prey and evade predators. They are active predators, feeding on a diet of smaller fish, squid, and crustaceans, but all that hunting lands them in dangerous waters sometimes. That's how this guy was able to catch this massive yellowfish tuna. According to him, this was the biggest one he's ever managed to catch, and by the looks of it, it can't be under 200 pounds. There are even some double the size of this one, but it's among one of the biggest ones 
anyone's ever managed to get on camera. 20. NFL Fish NFL players are some of the strongest men on the planet. They have years of training and are built basically like trucks so they can be on their A game on the court. NFL star linebacker Sam Barrington is one of these men, but he also brings his A game anytime he's out fishing. But even he didn't think any fish would be strong enough to give him a hard time until it happened. He was almost yanked out of the boat and had to get help to stabilize himself while he reeled in the mysterious catch. He described the feeling as trying to hold on to a car going downhill. It took a lot of struggling, but he finally got the fish up to the surface. When he did, they all realized what exactly was taking so long. He'd caught a monster goliath grouper, one of the hardest fish to catch. It's one of the largest grouper species, capable of reaching lengths of up to 8 feet and weights of over 800 pounds. Some have been recorded even larger. They are ambush predators, using their large mouths to capture prey and then swallow them whole. They simply don't think, they just do it. That's why it was so impressive that Sam didn't just catch one, but two of these massive fish. 21. 15-foot shark. When anyone goes out in the water, the one thing we all wish not to encounter is a shark, specifically the tiger shark. But when you're fishing, you're on their turf, messing with their food supply, so chances are they're going to want to fight back at some point. That's exactly what happened here, as this angler was just trying to catch the biggest fish he could. But the yank on his reel told him he'd found himself in a bit of trouble. There was a massive thousand pound tiger shark on the other side and he had no option but to reel it all the way in. He did and clearly this one can't make it on top of the boat, it would sink it immediately. So they do what they do with all the bigger fish and measure it from the side. It was almost half the size of the boat itself. 13 feet long. With that came the responsibility of unhooking it, and they literally needed an industrial-sized tool to do it before letting it go back into the wild. This was a brush with a beast not many walk away from. But some end up being on a shark's good side to the point they basically end up being best friends. 22. Shark Whisperer Sharks can be the scariest thing about the open waters, but not for everyone. This woman is essentially the closest thing there would ever be to a shark whisperer. She sinks down to the floor, and all of the sharks just group around her. All they want is for her to pay attention to them and give them all the pets they can get. They're basically acting like massive dogs, and she's letting them. This is an activity she's been a part of for a while, and she frequently visits these guys for their routine pets. 23. Eel Belly Rubs Just when you thought the ocean couldn't get more confusing, it does. Moray eels are usually portrayed as these strong, scary predators of the open waters, and for the most part, that is true. But who knew these guys also liked a good belly rub? This scuba diver has been experimenting with moray eels for a while, and he figured out that they actually love pets. So anytime he comes by one, he tries his hand at it, and they all have loved it so far. 24. Goliath Grouper Snack It's common to think of sharks as the scariest things you could ever come across in the ocean, but you might rethink that after seeing this 500-pound Goliath Grouper. These fish usually just do their thing, and because humans are physically quite big, they don't care to engage with any of us. This one, however, clearly felt like the humans were after her meal, so it almost made the diver's whole head a snack. Was that an actual attempt, or just a little threat to tell us that we need to stay out of her fridge? 25. Thankful Turtle Turtles are some of the oldest aquatic creatures to roam around in the ocean. 
While they might not be fossil old, they're still very old, many of them being at least 100. But that doesn't mean they have an easy time surviving. Sometimes they rub someone or something the wrong way and land into a lot of trouble. This turtle was being attacked relentlessly by a shark and it wasn't going to survive on its own. That's when a group of guys saw the whole thing and decided to intervene. They got the turtle out of the jaws of the scary shark and onto their boat. They decided that it would be better to get the turtle as far away from the danger as possible so it had a better chance at surviving. So, they drove in the other direction until it seemed like no one was there and released the turtle. It seemed so thankful that it tried to boot the boat to thank them. Without their help, it would have already been dinner. Would you get close to any of the fish in this video?